So another question that I'm frequently asked is whether there is a treatment for erectile dysfunction or not. So erectile dysfunction is a very you know vast uh, issue, and we can you know talk really lengths on it for hours and hours. But um, it's also a very common problem, and I've seen in my clinical practice that it affects all age groups, starting from you know since the time that you know men start or boys start to realize their sexuality, it starts from that time and go can go to up to any age. So I have uh, you know young boys ranging uh, from the age group of say 21, 22 years. To old people up to 75, even 80 plus years, who want to have good uh, erectile status. So, uh, what I can say that uh, in most people below the age of say 35 to 40 years, erectile dysfunction is usually because of a psychological reason. Even even people older than that can have psychological reasons for erectile dysfunction. And uh, erectile dysfunction uh, is very common in this in this age group and it stresses are the most predominant factor that lead to erectile dysfunction then there could be a marital discord then there could be you know a very common thing that we are encountering nowadays is the sexual preference many a times you know gay men can get married to a straight woman so so now the woman wants to have sex with the man but the man does not uh, feel excited seeing a woman so so that is another important reason in, in nowadays you know the, when we are getting more and more patients of this kind so erectile dysfunction can be treated by very simple means. You know, there are 101 myths surrounding erectile dysfunction. Everybody tries to treat it. And there are several unqualified people who claim to be the best people to be treating it, but actually they are not and they sell very expensive medication. Whereas erectile dysfunction can be treated in very simple ways. So first and foremost, we have to find out what is the reason for it. Usually, as I said, in the younger age group, it is psychological. So we have to take care of all the fears that are associated with it, all the myths that are associated with it. And some people have really unrealistic expectations. So in that case, so we have to give them proper counseling that what they should be expecting out of a normal erection, what it means, how long does it last and in, in what situations can one have a normal erection. And there are certain situations wherein a person may not be able to have an erection, but he's not an abnormal person. He's also normal, but because of that particular situation, he couldn't have it properly. So the basic treatment starts with counseling and uh, trying to get to the bottom of the problem and in what situation did he have erectile dysfunction? Does he have diabetes, blood pressure, chronic kidney disease, dyslipidemias, heart problems? You know, all those things are also a part of that. Many patients undergoing treatment for prostate enlargement can have erectile dysfunction. Many people undergoing treatment for hair loss can have erectile, erectile dysfunction. And a lot of people, you know, in recently in COVID times, you know, after COVID pneumonia and after COVID infection, I've seen a lot of people having erectile dysfunction. So these are basically temporary uh, uh, reasons like COVID and uh, stresses are temporary because once you take care of that part, then the erection is restored to normal. But in case if it is not getting back to normal, then there are very simple medications which can be taken on a regular basis if you are a very enthusiastic person or it can be taken on an as on demand basis. So these, erect, uh, these medications are able to take care of the erectile problems in more than 80% of the cases. Now about 20% of the cases who are unable to uh, treat uh, by the simple medication, they can go on to other devices like a vacuum erection device or intracavernosal, which means basically injecting some drugs into the penis which uh, leads to an erection. Or the, uh, the ultimate option is a surgery wherein we put implants within the penis and this we do only for patients who are who we are sure that you know they are not having a psychological reason for erectile dysfunction and they really have some organic reasons. So yes, erectile dysfunction is treatable. All causes of erectile dysfunction can be addressed, mostly addressed, and uh, you know starting from simple medications and patients who don't respond to medications or injections or to vacuum erection devices can go ahead and get a penile implant done. But then uh, we must carefully choose each patient for a you know for a particular kind of treatment.